Is VR dying? You or your friends have probably put on a VR headset at one point and traveled to another world. Well, that may have been good fun, and you wonder what it will look like in 10, 20 years time, but we have to look at where VR stands today. VR has drastically grown in popularity over the last decade, with the new VR headset releasing every few years. Many big brands have tapped into the idea of VR, such as Sony and Meta with Sony releasing the PSVR and of recently, the PSVR 2, while Meta continues to create better Oculus headsets every few years, having the Oculus 3 come out a month ago. But why does this matter? Although large releases are occurring so often in the VR industry, it's rare, and since it's not a large niche, not as many companies and people are tapping into VR. With that said, the sale of VR headsets continues to go through the roof every year for the companies focusing on the niche, getting more and more players introduced to the world of VR, and now having every 10 year old basically know what it is. The variety of games. VR on Steam has always been the category with the most amount of games, even though I'm pretty sure 90% of one minute jobs made by kids somehow published. Though, PC VR and all platforms for that instance have their own fair share of notable titles. For PC VR, they would have things like Half-Life Alex and Burn Labs. For PSVR, Horizon Dawn Zero and B-Saber are especially popular. Then Oculus has exclusives such as The Climb, but this headset can also port to PC, playing nearly anything. This sounds great and I agree, but these double to triple A titles release rarely, usually having to wait a few years for something good to release. Though, you can just play Half-Life Alex on repeat every single day of your life. Quality PC games are released frequently, though as I said before, due to VR's smaller niche, there are less developers, and in turn, less games slash a lower frequency of releases. But there is some good news, as VR becomes more relevant in today's society, more and more companies are picking up on its potential. Educational systems and businesses are a good example of this. As time goes on, there is no doubt that VR's relevancy will flourish and eventually become more mainstream, meaning more companies, developers, and in turn, more quality games for us to enjoy. What about upcoming releases in the VR industry today? There's quite a few premium headsets on the rise. That's if you have a fat wallet to pay for them. Firstly, the big screen beyond. Just look at this beauty. This headset was primarily made by Big Screen Beyond to watch movies on their platform. Why? 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 But the headset will also support playing any PC VR game you wish. That is, if you already have base stations and controllers. How is this headset playing a small part in VR's progression you may ask? Well, it's size for one. With its small non-bulky design, it weighs only 126 grams. Meaning, you can enjoy your VR games without a brick attached to your head. Instead, it'll feel like goggles. Then, combined with its insane graphics and components, I believe glare was an issue, but we'll see, the experience it brings will definitely be notable. And what about upcoming games? Is there anything special coming to VR soon? Definitely. There are a few notable titles coming to PC VR, with the most anticipated game being Arizona Sunshine 2. Almost every VR owner has heard of the first game, a classic zombie shooter that won't die anytime soon. With this title's upcoming release, everyone's getting excited, as it'll be a brand new storyline to dive into along with better graphics as the first game released in 2016. Another exciting title is Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. For the meanwhile, this game will be a PSVR 2 exclusive, but later on we'll see if it comes to other platforms. Everyone loved the first game and getting jump scared was just another level of scary. So is VR dying? No, far from it. Although VR has had a turbulent past regarding reputation and popularity, the niche continues to push boundaries to this day. Upgrades and releases may take a while longer than standard platformer titles or consoles, since the technology's point is to literally remove you from this realm, so no wonder advancements take forever. But nevertheless, the companies involved strive to release the best material possible. Everyone loves escaping from the world for a little while and stabbing a bunch of people in the face. Or is it just me? Anyway, VR may have its ups and downs, but its future is bright. Over time, the technology will advance to crazy limits we can't even imagine of, and it will be more fun than ever. So, where we stand, VR is amazing. If you like this video, be sure to check out the next one. Peace.